my great pleasure to welcome uh, Professor Juichi Arakawa from Japan, from Tokyo. Um, assuming you're based in Tokyo at this point of time. Um, Juichi, my great pleasure to welcome you here. Um, you are a former, a professor emeritus at the uh, University of Tokyo. Um, and now you are a designated professor at Kyoto University. So this is your kind of professional affiliation. In addition to that, you're representing the Japan Wind Energy Association. And uh, since many years, you have been on the board as the vice president of the World Wind Energy Association, um, one of the leading experts uh, for wind power, in particular offshore wind in Japan. And now it's a great honor having you uh, sharing with us the latest developments of wind power in Japan. Chuichi. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. Uh, now, I would like to move to my slide. I'd like to check. Uh, I'd like to do this and... It's okay now. now. Hello. Yeah. Is it? Can you see my slide? Not yet. No. Not yet. Not yet. Sean. Mm. Half, oh, half year ago, we made mistake to show my slide. So it's better for me to use uh, my previous slide I have already sent to you. Sean, can you do that? Yes, come in, Sean. Yeah, please uh, prepare my slide on your side. Uh, uh, yes, thank you very much. Uh, please use, uh, yes, thank you. Now, it's my great pleasure to explain Japanese status of wind power generation this year. Next slide, please. Yes. I explain uh, the Japanese status comparing with uh, international one. Now, as Jan, Jan has already explained, our world wind power capacity becomes uh, 744 gigawatt, but in Japan, uh, total accumulation is just 4 gigawatt. You can see uh, in the uh, uh, figures uh, of the uh, right, left hand side. Yes, um, I think uh, our position in Japan is located uh, at the 20th, maybe 20th ranking in the world. I'm sorry, but we are eager to develop offshore wind available uh, in the large uh, economic exclusive zone of ocean. Uh, the government has continued to design designate offshore wind promotion area. Yes, you can see at first I'd like to explain the uh, wind power capacity of onshore. Uh, you can see our total capacity this year is four, around four gigawatt. You can see the sun increase uh, year by year, um, but this figure shows uh, wind power for onshore. It means now uh, total capacity for onshore is growing to 4.4 4 .4 gigawatt now. I think, I imagine the total amount on onshore in Japan will be increased to uh, 10 gigawatt at, the, at most, or something like that. Anyway, 10 gigawatt. But uh, later, it is very difficult for us to develop wind power you know, for onshore style because we have the small island and we have strong some social acceptance problem. So we need to develop offshore wind in parallel with onshore one. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, yes, I have already explained the beautiful uh, floating offshore wind projects uh, pictures. Uh, this is the first one. Uh, 
uh, in Japan. Uh, it's located in Nagasaki Prefecture. Of course, the project has already completed and, it, and this, this turbine uh, still works uh, for, as, uh, uh, for providing electricity to small city in Nagasaki area. Uh, now we are calling the some uh, project uh, sector for extending this size. It means this project will be one candidate of the auction for the general sea area, uh, which I will explain later. Okay, anyway, this is a successful project uh, organized by Ministry of Environment of Japan. Next slide, please. Uh, you can remember well that Fukushima project after uh, our great Eastern Japan earthquakes. Of course, now 10 years has passed since we had a big disaster of the earthquake. And after the disaster, the uh, Ministry of e Economy, Trade, Industry, METI, organized big projects of uh, floating offshore in Fukushima area four turbines, uh, three turbines, and with one another floater for um, net mast, something like that. Uh, but now last, uh, last year, the government has decided that all the turbines will be removed. It is of a great pity, but I can say that they have the good profits in the experiment test project, but uh, the, a kind of owner, uh, wind sector for a Fukushima project, uh, doesn't like to keep this floaters for the following big size of offshore wind. So finally the government has decided to stop this project. Uh, next slide, please. And you can see another beautiful slide of floating offshore uh, turbines in Fukushima area. One floating substation, another one two megawatt uh, turbines, which does work well. Next slide, please. The another seven megawatt sub, uh, sub, sub massive uh, V-shaped three columns floater. Uh, this turbine didn't work well because uh, MHI uh, put the first uh, innovative turbines to this, to this floater. Of course, it, uh, it's very difficult to check the reliability as the first turbines. So uh, anyway, they decided to uh, remove uh, all turbines. It is my private, uh, my great pity to stop all of these innovative a project. Next slide, please. But of course, uh, last my presentation half year ago, I um, introduced some breaking news for uh, uh, wind power, renewable energy, and our energy uh, milestones in Japan. At first, METI, uh, Minister of METI, uh, follow the proposal by uh, Japan Wind Power Association, wind sector group for future target of offshore wind. Yes, 10 gigawatt by 2030, 30 and 45 gigawatt by 2040. It's a great, but next slide, please. Ne yes, uh, furthermore, uh, half, month, half year ago, new prime minister, Mr. Suga has declared at that time uh, that we will increase greenhouse gas to zero by 2050, so-called green uh, neutral. Uh, so we are very surprised to know this proposal by our prime minister. Now, next slide, please. The government our government also makes strong efforts to extend this uh, declaration of carbon neutral with offshore wind, something like that. 
Now I'd like to explain the formal document, Meti governmental formal documents uh, in the following. Uh, you can see this figure uh, in 2030, uh, renewable energy uh, covers 22 to 24% for all electricity. As I have already explained, but wind is only 1.7%. It's very, very small. So uh, I continue to push uh, the government to accept big size of wind power, offshore wind power. But even now, the government keeps this uh, target. But of course, uh, now, uh, next slide, please. Uh, now, uh, the government also has uh, uh, tried to make new sense for developing uh, renewable energy. Uh, so this figure shows the uh, same explanation as the uh, former ones. Next slide, please. In, uh, for uh, offshore wind, we have so many possibilities, something like in the map. In, in the north, Hokkaido and Tohoku, we have the big possibility for uh, offshore wind and uh, they can provide us electricity to 30 to 45 gigawatts by 2040 and something like that. Exactly, we have the possibility to extend uh, offshore wind. Next slide, please. Yes, of course, the government also explains uh, some, uh, some uh, barrier to uh, grow up uh, offshore wind, including onshore wind. Uh, we have the, some electricity uh, grid problem. We need the government should uh, line force a long term grid uh, systems. Uh, you may know well that we have the two uh, electric system in the north. The east part is organized by electricity 50 hertz, another one 60 hertz. And furthermore, we have the independent electricity uh, company uh, as 10 units. Anyway, uh, the government should uh, uh, concentrate each facilities and they should uh, connect each other. Next slide. Yes, now the government, the government explains a future target to 2050 in the right hand side. Uh, you can see uh, the decarbonized electric sources. Uh, the, government, the government also says the all of electricity will come from uh, new styles, but you can see uh, the new earth comes fr from, uh, covers 50%. Next, next word, nuclear. Nuclear will cover 30 or 40%. It's a big problem. Even now, the government uh, keeps uh, renewable energy as well as uh, nuclear power as well as renewables for the target to 2050 big uh, amount. Certainly total uh, carbon neutral means to uh, be free from uh, carbon dioxide. So nuclear power plant has a possibility to do it. So it means the government uh, keeps uh, each position, renewable energy and nuclear power for a future green uh, uh, carbon neutralize, neutralization. It's a big problem. Okay, next slide, please. This is a, another formal document for offshore wind from the government. You can see uh, exact uh, milestones for the uh, uh, offshore wind to uh, 2030. Now we have three uh, zones for promoting one. 
uh, one of them is uh, Nagasaki. Uh, I have already explained for uh, floating offshore. Another three area is Akita Prefecture and Nagasaki Prefecture. Now, furthermore, we continue uh, to uh, select the next zone, so-called promotion zone, uh, another Akita uh, area and uh, Aomori 2 area, and finally one more Nagasaki area. Now we have around eight zones for exact uh, developing offshore wind in Japan. No, uh, I'm also a member to committee uh, of the committee to uh, discuss the exact process of offshore wind uh, in local area, especially Aomori Prefecture. Okay, next slide, please. Now, uh, the so many programs in TV and the newspapers for developing offshore wind. Uh, so. Uh, people understand the possibility of the wind power for uh, total uh, uh, big uh, total what shall I say a possibility uh, to uh, carbon neutral and uh, furthermore uh, so young generation uh, cooperate with us to develop uh, these. Uh, offshore wind and onshore wind. But in this case, we need to have collaboration with international sector manufacturer for rapid development and good communication with local people, especially such as visionary. We need to escape from so-called social acceptance problem in offshore wind. Next slide. Yes, finally, uh, it's a conclusion. Now, uh, Japan, Japanese government also started the scheme of promotion area of offshore wind. Furthermore, uh, they declared energy policy toward net zero greenhouse gas emissions. But uh, we, we have some possibility uh, to extend nuclear power again for the carbon neutral in Japan, if we have some uh, slow speed of uh, developing uh, another renewable energy. So anyway, please expect future offshore wind power in Japan and cooperate with us. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, uh, Juichi. That was very interesting to hear from Japan and uh, about the indeed ambitious plans in particular related to offshore wind. But of course, we hope that uh, the ambitions are becoming a bit bigger than they are at this point of time. I know that you're working very hard. I uh, will wish you a, a lot of uh, success for that work. And as you refer to, um, of course, the, the question of social acceptance, which I think is quite low in the case of nuclear power, um, at least the service that we've been uh, um, told by mm -hmm. Japanese colleagues. Mm -hmm. We are at the moment also doing a, a survey on uh, community energy in Japan and the share of women in community energy. Let me just uh, mention that comparing uh, Germany and uh, um, Japan. And that is very interesting to see um, the, the role of women and how they are in some cases drivers of this movement towards uh, renewable energy, of course, we hope that that will also help to increase the support of the citizens for uh, wind energy in general. Um, so uh, again, a great thank you. And uh, um, please, again, please stay with us in case that some there are some questions uh, coming up.